I'm Chris Duke, and Craftsman finally has an all-electric mower, and I'm going to tell you all about it. This is Tool Talk. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of my gas mower. I'm tired of every six months having to take the carburetor all apart just to clean the gunk out so it'll start, and having an extra canister of fuel handy just for my mower. So I was super excited last year when Craftsman announced their new electric mowers. The first one's actually a gas mower, but it's got an electric push button start so you don't have that string. But the other two are all electric, and this is one of them. This is the self-propelled version. They've got another manual push version that's a little bit cheaper. This is their 21 inch cordless mower, and I can't wait to show this to you. This is part of their new V60 platform that includes a blower, a string trimmer, a hedge trimmer, and a chainsaw. But as you'll see with this bad boy, the battery is much bigger because it requires more power. So let's get to the unboxing. In the box, you get the 21 inch mower, and that's actually referring to the width of this metal deck, not the blade. A side flap that goes right in there in case you need it. The big old V60 battery, the charger for it, a safety key, instruction manual, the bag that I've already assembled, and I went ahead and put the handle together just using the included hardware. No tools required, you just kind of cinch it on down. To adjust this handle up and down, you can see that it kind of moves freely right now. That's because it's not locked in place. So to lock it in place, what you need to do is figure out where you want it. So for me, right about there should work. And then you just twist these little knobs off to the side and it will lock in to one of those holes. Before you can operate the mower, you need the safety key. This just goes in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tie it onto here loosely so that it doesn't get lost. And for now, leave it unplugged. To attach the bag, just lift up the flap in the back, hang it on the hook, and you're good to go. To use the included side flap, just lift up the side door and hook it onto the hinge. To charge the battery, just plug in the charger. And once that big old battery is all charged up, toss it into R2-D2. To adjust the height of the mower, use this handle on the side to put it into one of six positions, from low to high. To collapse the mower for storage, just twist these two knobs to the side so that it becomes unhooked, and then fold it like that. And if you want to lift it up, grab from the front and the grab handle in the back. All right, to operate the mower, you've got these two red handles that are on either side of the main black handle. The one in the back is for the rear wheels, the self-propelled. That's what happens. So to start it, you press this button on the side, pull this handle forward, and you're good to go. Now that I've got this big old beastie from Craftsman, I can run through and show you all the different batteries that Craftsman currently offers. This one obviously is the biggest, the new 7.5 amp hour V60 battery. This thing is massive. I would say it's about the third the size of a normal car battery, maybe a little bit more. It's huge and heavy, powers the mower and the new Toyota Prius. Okay, maybe not the Prius, but you get my point. It's huge and heavy and it's high performance, high output, Ugh, lots of power right there. Also part of the V60 platform is this guy, but this is 2.5 amp hour. This is for the chainsaw, the string and hedge trimmer, and also the blower. And of course, we've got the V20 platform, the smaller batteries for your hand tools, the four amp hour and the two amp hour battery. And here's what the bottom looks like. Here's your blade, looks like it's about 20 inch blade. Well, now that we know about the mower, there's only one thing left to do. Test it out on my backyard. Because of its weight, it's actually pretty easy just to push. I don't even need to use the self-propelled. 
Wow, still full battery? Well, it makes sense. This yard's not that big. Now, comparing this 21 inch to my old gas mower, this electric is so much faster. This thing is a hot rod. In fact, the self-propelled is almost too fast. I wish there was a half speed. It goes a little bit slower. I ended up pushing it around most of the time in here. Now, if you've got a big yard with long stretches of grass, a self-propelled one like this might be the way to go because you'll get that job done quick. For me, I'd probably go with the manual push version if you've got a small yard and save a few dollars. But this is awesome. Easy to move around, easy to start, no gas, incredible work, I love it. So, for more information, just head on over to tooltalk.tv. I'll have the information and a link right there for you, and I'll catch you next Tuesday for another episode of Tool Talk. <laughs>